So today Tascop was invited to attend the Entrepreneur Country Forum. So we're looking forward to meeting some of the greatest leaders and thinkers of the entrepreneur world. The opportunity to come together with fellow entrepreneurs is always invaluable and as was first Tuesday when Julie set it up. But this is about getting big companies and little companies together globally. And those are the big markets of tomorrow. The opportunities for corporate venturing are enormous. So I think there's a specific benefit of getting big companies and the entrepreneurs inside them hooked up with little businesses being run by entrepreneurs. I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for the last 30 years. And uh, in that time I've started seven businesses. Um, some successful, some not. I'm interested on getting to know a little bit more how non-entrepreneurial environments can foster entrepreneurship. It's important that people take risks and innovate um, because with that entrepreneur I think that the world will be boring. <laughs> so we bring financial and non-financial support for fast growth SMEs to support the growth of the UK economy. Because entrepreneurs really are our sort of uh, shining uh, light of example for the rest of the world. Entrepreneurs drive the UK economy. More than 50% of UK private sector output is driven by fast growth SMEs. More than 60% of UK private sector jobs are, dem are generated by fast growth SMEs. Entrepreneurialism is the engine of the UK economy. We need to build little companies that think globally where global is in their DNA. One of the big differences now uh, as opposed to 15 years ago was that you know, finding other like-minded individuals, other entrepreneurs, other people you know, who are interested in your sector is so much easier than it ever was before. So I think you know, it's a golden age for entrepreneurship really. The real nature of the UK is a very saleable commodity, um, so it's very well respected on the global stage. It's great to see that we, there may be a way to help each other and help each other find solutions. We've got an incredibly entrepreneurial and diverse entrepreneurial ecosystem here and in Europe and you know I think our diversity is part of our strength. If your ambitions are global then, then those common interests will be better served in, in, a, in a global forum. Entrepreneurship in one word. Um, I think it's risk. I think it's about managing risk. I think uh, the better you can do that the more chance you have success. Action. I'm doing it. Innovate. Uh, risk. Risk. In one word, exciting daily life. Excitement. Perhaps too much at times. The event is great, the venue is fantastic, people are really, really inspiring. Yeah, it's really, I think, really helpful to get people who've got common interests and common problems. Not necessarily com in a competitive mode, but you know, they're, they're, they're trying to grow businesses and there's a lot of common challenges. I have a real interest in learning about um, other entrepreneurs' experiences as well as the experiences of the venture capital people who back people like myself. A few interesting speakers, but I think the one that resonated more in me was uh, what Saul Klein talked about. Um, starting his life as an entrepreneur, um, trying to balance his life personal life with his career. George Brenner was uh, really excellent and inspiring. Uh, the 200 different companies that he's had dealings with. Favourite speaker was probably uh, George Freeman, um, mainly because I love to hear about what the government are trying to do uh, for entrepreneurs. Reaching out to the entrepreneurial community and supporting this initiative and this group of people. Because without a radical acceleration of innovation and enterprise across government, opening up, creating new markets, we will fail and we won't allow our small companies to reach their potential.